Welcome to Glistening Mackerel. No. Godson's Measles. No. Gravestones Mossy. No. Gossip Mongers. Yes. 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 Gossip Mongers. Yes. 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 That's the one. That's the baby. Gossip Mongers. Bloody right it is. Let's do this. Let's listen to some gossip. Who cast? Who cast? Gossip number one. This is from Mark. As a 15-year-old in the last year of senior school in Hull, a friend of mine managed to successfully secure a Saturday job in Comet. The pay was pitiful and the prospects were too, but being a bit thick, Craig decided this would be an ideal <laughs> career choice. <laughs> being a bit thick. <laughs> thick. Signing up for full-time boredom with the retail giant. <laughs> As soon as he had left school. <laughs> it was not long before I discovered why. After our regular Monday night game of Five Aside, Craig revealed the biggest appeal of his new job was his favourite lunchtime ritual. Not content with eating a sandwich and reading the paper, Craig preferred to relax by going to the toilet and removing all of his clothes before meticulously folding them up and placing them and his shoes with his socks in on the cistern behind the privacy of the cubicle toilet door. <clears throat> he would then proceed to have a comet wank oh. <laughs> over the customer who he had most taken a fancy to <laughs> during the morning shift. <laughs> a comet wank. <laughs> so if somebody fancied coming, yeah. he'd log it. He'd log it, get new. <laughs> Deep done, he'd pop the uniform back on and head back out to the shop floor to off. sell VHS recorders <laughs> to the masses. <laughs> Oh God. oh God! <laughs> Brings a whole new meaning to the phrase "you know where to come." <laughs> Comet. <laughs> Gossip number two. Twenty-two years ago, two families we knew from school swapped. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Dad, Dad won. Stayed at the top of the Shire on the farm. <laughs> Fucking hell. When was it? 200 years ago? <laughs> 22, actually. 22 years ago, sorry. 222 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> top of the fucking Shire. <laughs> what about? Field? Yeah. yeah. Dad T's wife and three sons and one daughter moved 10 miles to the top of the Shire to live with him. <laughs> Dad T stayed at the bottom of the <laughs> Shire. It's like that fox in a grain and a, <laughs> yeah, and a it's chicken. <laughs> it's exactly like that, yes. <laughs> Dad, Dad T stayed at the bottom of the Shire where it's more civilised. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> Stop saying fucking Shire. <laughs> um, Dad Wan's wife and three daughters moved ten miles to the bottom of the Shire to live with him. Not a f not a wife swap, <laughs> but a full family swap. <laughs> All in. And then he just says mental. And that's it. <laughs> So stupid. Uh, <laughs> I reckon he's gone. Oh. He looks back and he goes, I already said the first bit. Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, it just says, uh, new line, mental. Mental. That's it. Uh, I kind of wish all of them were like that. Yeah. Gossip number three. So this is from Anon. Boarding school is a funny old place. Night times would be even creepier. There would be us all tucked up in bed, the lights are out, and then walks in a teacher. We'll call him Penfold. He'd shine a torch over our faces as we slept to make sure we were actually asleep. I could never normally sleep in that weird place and would just scrunch my eyes up tightly and hope the torchlight would go away. He would walk to the end of the dormitory, dormitory, dormitory sorry, he would walk to the, end of the dormitory, swing on his heels and head back. Then he was gone, 
and more weirdness would ensue. The Japanese student would shout orders in Japanese in his sleep. <laughs> mm. One of the guys walked up and down the dormitory shaking his tablets. <laughs> his what? Tablets. He was a pod tablets. Oh, I thought tablets meant like balls or something. <laughs> we were sworn that this particular chat was nearly a What? <laughs> we, we swore this particular chap was actually a 40 year old man <laughs> rather than a 13 year old boy. <laughs> Oh, a lot of people called him the narc. <laughs> <laughs> the, the narc. Some fucker was always wanking too. You could tell with the creaking bed. And, uh, one, and one kid once started quoting The Exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> what a great room. <laughs> to the dorm captain in his sleep. <laughs> It's <laughs> one flew over the curtain. Uh, 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 one of these odd nights, we heard some gossip. Oh, it's not even it. Fucking hell. Mm. God. Uh, it was late, and Penfold had done his rounds, and the dorm captain had popped out of the fire escape to have a cheeky fag. My pal, who, who in brackets slept next, next to me, and I heard their conversation that we have never been able to forget since that fateful evening. <coughs> Apparently that night, one of the boys who had a deformed hand that was shaped like a croissant. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. I just got a great Poppy's image. Not, yes, I'm just, Poppy's not sorry. I'm not sorry. Croissant hand. He was naturally known as croissant. God, that, that. Well, of course. Was caught touching another boy. With his croissant shaped hand. Oh, God. The witness was, of course, sent into shock and ran to tell our dorm captains about what had, what he referred to as the croissant job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm worried about oh, this, this person. That's this is it. bad as well, <laughs> isn't it? We both had to hold in our laughter. Especially as my pal was giving me the wanker gesture with his hand shaped like a croissant. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty much the gist of the conversation we'd heard. Within days, the wildfire had spread and people were starting to use their breakfast to describe what happened <laughs> to those who weren't in the heart. They weren't in the know. <laughs> One guy used a crusty croissant and a little sausage. <laughs> To show us exactly how and what had happened. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst others walked about <laughs> with butter splattered quads <laughs> in their hands. <laughs> and then threw them at each other, pretending the butter was cheese. <laughs> It was all a bit weird. <laughs> did, did he want to be uh, croissant? Honestly, <laughs> the last five minutes, all I'm doing is laughing at this croissant-shaped <laughs> hand in my head. This image. But can that I ask, did the guy who got croissanted off, did he want it? I don't know what you mean. Well, is this abuse? Yeah. <laughs> the pupils in question seemed okay about it. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Which always made Thank me heavens. question about its authenticity. Boarding school was rife with this kind of gossip. Even as I was at the, even if even I was at the butt end of one, apparently, I got a boner during the cough and drop examination. <laughs> I didn't, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> right, I just want to. Ch I think they. I think they wanted it. Okay. I think they were croissanted each other off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to check the uh, We're detail. just going to check that no one was croissanted <laughs> when they didn't want it. <laughs> against their... <laughs> no one was croissanted against their will, were they? <laughs> Joe's just going through the fine... Uh, yeah, with a fine yeah, We're going to get comb. the legal department involved. <laughs> uh, was caught touch... Yeah, so they were caught touching another boy with his croissant shaped hand. And was that other boy happy? The witness was of course sent into shock and ran to tell the door. Yeah, I think I think they were croissanting each other. 
Wonderful. So why not? <laughs> why fucking not? Uh. Gossip number four. Yeah, this is from Office Boy. <laughs> oh, I like him already. Yeah. At the tender age of 18, myself and a best friend were trusted to work together in a serviced office. Basically, we rented office space where we provided each office with a reception and we were responsible for all their needs. We had this one client we hated called Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> That's really normal. They yeah. just hate her. <laughs> she used to love complaining about us. She was very Scottish, and for some reason, this didn't help. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Anyway, every morning we would have to deliver all the posts to the different offices. We hated this job, so we invented an elaborate game to decide which of us had to do it. It involved trying to bounce a rubber in a bin on the other side of the room. The game got to such extremes that we would play a mini game first <laughs> to decide who got to choose which rubber we used. I love it. <laughs> this would sometimes delay us by an hour and cause the post to be delivered late. After a particularly epic game that went on for over an hour, our enemy, Caroline, complained about our lateness. This enraged us, and rightly so in my opinion to get our revenge we hid her orthopedic chair in another office God. it turns out this chair was worth over a grand <laughs> this is really boring <laughs> to our horror she called the police and reported the theft the next day in our panic we decided to dismantle the chair into as many pieces as we could then put what all the pieces idea. into individual boxes and carried them down to the bins. Oh, God. <laughs> Unfortunately, this causes our pre-post delivery game to be late and the post to be delivered at a record late time. What followed was another complaint and a bit of finger pointing about Caroline's stupid chair. Oh, God. <laughs> Caroline's done nothing she wrong. Done no. well, she just wants a prat. She mate. just wants her fucking post. Well, yeah. Don't blame her. We were understandably very cross and put out by this and decided to get our revenge. <laughs> Caroline used to use an annoying headset for her phone calls. The microphone part would set the microphone part would set millimeters from her mouth. Okay. Early in the morning the next day, my friend broke into her office, pulled his pants down and got into a squat position. Oh God. He then inserted the microphone into his anus as far as as far as it would go. This is Caroline's headset. <laughs> the uh, the voice bit. Yeah. The Janet Jackson. Bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Janet Jackson up is Janet Jacksy. <laughs> <laughs> when he pulled it out, a little brown nugget. <laughs> of course. <laughs> stuck on the end. <laughs> I thought you did like shit stories, don't you? Wow. <laughs> One in round. Got, yeah, this is high quality. <laughs> <laughs> we both decided to do a sniff test. It was horrendous. <laughs> the worst thing was he left the nugget on it. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I can't even keep up with what uh, this is yeah. revenge for what? Yeah. For, for <laughs> basically asking for a post on time. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> it's just for being efficient. Uh, we then <laughs> ran off as fast as we could laughing. <laughs> Later that day, Caroline showed up. And was her usual angry self. <laughs> when she came into our office to complain about something, she had the headset on. I laughed so hard in her face. <laughs> That I wet my pants. <laughs> In the this face. is so puerile. I had to go home, oh. I was so wet. <laughs> and I had to pretend to be ill. <laughs> 
Caroline left not long after. <laughs> 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 <That's so dumb. laughs> such a basic human. Uh, <laughs> Do you know dear. what? Everyone's so grown up with those two lads, haven't they? <laughs> Just a couple of idiots oh. in an office job, not working properly and blaming everyone else. <laughs> Just do your fucking job, lads. <laughs> Why is Caroline being mean? Because you're fucking useless. <laughs> I'm totally on Caroline's side. <laughs> fucking oh wankers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my stomach <laughs> Gossip number five <laughs> This is from Anonymous Where I grew up we had an infamous local fella Who although he had a house And indeed a family He would more often than not Be seen hammered And trying to fight off flies <laughs> By this, I don't mean he stank and flies gravitated towards him, but that he would stand there trying to physically fight the flies, <laughs> fists swinging wildly in the air, his face a scrunched up ball of pissed up anger. <laughs> Let's call this terrifying stray Danny. One Sunday afternoon, whilst enjoying a kickabout with a few mates, coats for goalposts, Danny turned up, shirt off, waving a can of McEwan's. <laughs> He set himself up a short distance off and proceeded to give the flies a good kicking. <laughs> when all of a sudden a shot goes unsaved and the ball comes to rest a foot away from Danny. <laughs> like cowards, we were all willing to give up and go home. <laughs> until one of us, the saintly Simon, said he'd go and get it. Simon is the nicest bloke you could ever meet. <laughs> And would do, would do anything for anyone. For no other reason other than to help out. We, on the other hand, were not so lovely. <laughs> I'm so in now. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going to happen to Simon? <laughs> lovely, lovely Simon. <laughs> I'm scared. I am as well. I'm like fucking Stephen King. <laughs> <laughs> Danny playfully tried to dribble the ball and nutmeg Simon <laughs> to which Simon played along until he could get the ball far enough away from Danny's feet that he could pick it up and return to the pitch <laughs> Danny followed Simon <laughs> <laughs> and the only solution to his insistence in joining our game was to let him go in goal he seemed quite happy with this and stood there with his top off, can in hand, shouting, no chance, <laughs> at us repeatedly. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> no chance, mate. This so well. No chance. The upshot was we all hung further and further back down the pitch, away from Danny, taking fewer and fewer, fewer shots at him. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Simon, however, being too nice, Aww. didn't want to upset him, oh, no. and so still Simon. played the odd easy ball. <laughs> <laughs> Which Danny would stagger towards. Managed to get... <laughs> Which Danny would stagger towards, managed to get his body in the way somehow, and then shout, no chance. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Eventually, a shot was played. Eventually, a shot was played which oh. smacked Danny full on in the face, oh sent him toppling over on the goal line. Before his body had even hit the grass, every one of us had run off. <laughs> every one of us, that is. Oh, except Simon? <laughs> except oh, Simon. Except Simon. Simon. Who was oh. left all alone to make sure his new best mate <laughs> was all right and to pick up oh. our coats. <laughs> This was the first time this had happened, though. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Oh, God. Please don't make us wait till next week. <laughs> <laughs> A few years before, the same group of mates 
all went to the boys' brigade together. <laughs> and one of the fun activities we got up to involved trying to get a medicine ball <laughs> from one end of the hall to the other. <laughs> what has happened to the story? We well, said this isn't the first time, time oh, this, this has happened. Yeah. No, this yeah. it what this sorry. wasn't the first time oh, this has happened. Sorry, though. sorry. So yeah, a few years before, same group of mates with the boys' brigade together, <laughs> and one of the fun activities was we got up to involve trying to get a medicine <laughs> ball from one end of the hall to the other, whilst the other team try and stop you. One of the officers was a very ancient chap who was in his late eighties and would shuffle about smoking his pipe, almost oblivious to the rest of the world about him. One Friday evening, whilst we were mid-murder ball, he decided to cross the hall with a pint of milk in his hand to go and make a cuppa, just as saintly Simon threw the heavy medicine ball across the hall. It made full contact with the ancient one's head. Oh, God. Before he'd hit the floor, every single one of us had run out or found a bloody good hiding place. All except for Simon. <laughs> he suddenly found himself in a deserted hall with an 80-year-old man <laughs> floored by his own hand. <laughs> he says he can distinctly remember watching the milk bottle fall and roll on its base in a slow motion before coming to rest. Oh, <laughs> Stood up, having not spilt a drop. <laughs> Simon went away to teach English to foreign kids abroad. <laughs> And we didn't see him for a few years. When he returned, we treated him like a long-lost hero and had a night out in Exmouth on the booze in his honour. To show him how much he was loved, whole plants were pulled up from the flower beds along the seafront and presented to him as a bouquet. And much fun and laughter was had by all. Until the police, having seen our antics on CCTV, pulled up and arrested Simon. <laughs> <laughs> After all, it was he that was in possession of the stolen flowers and shrubs. <laughs> he ended oh up God. being given a caution <laughs> for his floral misdemeanor. <laughs> and being the lovely, nice bloke he is, never complained once about any of it. <laughs> Rumour has it that despite that caution being long wiped from his police file, he still comes clean about it on job applications <laughs> and in interviews. Fuck. As he feels it's better that it comes from him <laughs> rather than they find out later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I so love Simon. Oh, I do He's as well. such a nice man. I'll marry Simon. Oh, I'll marry oh, Simon. I would yeah. as well. Oh, Simon, you're the nuts. Gossip number six. Celebrity. Harriet Kemsley. Hello, this is Harriet Kemsley and I've got a rumour. So back in Canterbury there's this club. It's called Bar Bars. So it's like a sheep but a bar twice. Um, and then my f right on one side there's like a normal road where you enter the club. And then the other side is like the dual carriageway. And then 20 feet up, there's just a random like door in the wall, but like it doesn't lead to anywhere because it's just air. And then my friend Ed told me that his friend Pete, he went to the club and he was dancing, but then he leant on the wall and he fell out the door. And then he was suddenly on the dual carriageway and he was like, oh, and he had to run off the dual carriageway. And then he was a bit shaken and he went back to the club and he told the bouncer, I just I fell out the door onto the dual carriageway. And then the bouncer didn't believe him because he thought he was on drugs. And so then he knew that his friend stashed a change of clothes in a bush where it was. So he went and changed into his friend's clothes and he went back because the bouncers never remember your, your face, they just remember your clothes. So then he got back in again and he went up to the same place to try and investigate. But then he fell out the door again. Um, I'm just a dual carriageway again. Um, but nobody saw it either time. But he swears that it's true and um, just kept falling out the door and I don't know what happened to him after that. Gossip number seven. This is from Michael. All right, guys. There was a girl in the year above me at secondary school who not many people knew her name. 
<laughs> Everyone knew her as Sweaty Poo. Oh. Oh Rumour had it that she had a shit once and it came out perfectly covered in sweat. Oh. <laughs> oh. God, <that's laughs> made me angry. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's probably angry. Oh. Like it was wrapped up in cling film <laughs> with no creases or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what do they mean? No <laughs> creases or anything. <laughs> How could you have a sweaty I remember thinking uh. it was weird everyone calling her that. But if you said, all right, sweaty poo, she'd usually just say, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess she wasn't phased by it. <laughs> Keep, down, she Keep up the good work, Michael. I like that. <laughs> Michael couldn't be bothered to add any more detail. <laughs> do. He did it on his walk in, didn't he? <laughs> Typed it on his phone, sent it, they'll never read that. Well, you're wrong, we have and it's in. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, they put it in. God. Uh, <laughs> sweaty poo. I sort of admire the lack of effort. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Joe Poppy and David will now choose their favourite rumour. OK, so I'm going to read out the top five and we're all going to privately write down which we think is the best and, and then, then reveal, reveal it. At the same time. Yeah. So, number one. Lovely Simon. Oh, yeah. Oh. Number two. Sweaty Poo. Oh, God. God almighty. Number three. Croissant Hand. <laughs> Oh, fuck, yeah. Number four, Comet Wank. <laughs> okay, yeah. Jesus Christ. And number five, Caroline's Headset. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I've, not, I've changed my yeah, mind. I've changed nice. my mind three times. I'm I'll do it again. Now. Number okay. one, Lovely Simon. Number two, Sweaty oh, Poo. I need to change. It's not a little change. song. Yeah. <laughs> number one, Lovely Simon. Number two, Sweaty <laughs> Poo. <laughs> <laughs> number three, Quasps on Hand. <laughs> Number four, calm it, wank. Lullaby. Number five, Caroline's head said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, God, right, I've changed hard, my mind actually. three times. Uh, right. Never done that before. I was so confident I was going to go for the... You're growling, mate. It's good podcast. Yeah, shit, yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> fuck, it's not easy, is it? No, it I quite like it these isn't. ones. Yeah. I was really sure, and I yeah. changed... I'll show you mine, and then I'll tell you what I was going to go for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'll tell you. Um, I was going to copy oh, you, baby. I don't know if this is... Yeah, okay. I'm not sure. Right. Uh, no, I'm, I'm stuck between two, but I've gone, mm. I've, I've gone for... <sighs> I'm not sure. Sorry. Uh, I'll cut all this. <laughs> I'm going to give you five more seconds. Yeah, okay. <laughs> five, four, right, yeah. three... <laughs> Two, one, pens down. Okay. Okay. On right. The on the count of three. Mm. On the count of three, okay. we'll reveal which ones we've chosen. Should we shout out? Re reveal and shout. Yeah, go on then. Okay, so one, one two, two, three. three. Croissant Caroline's, hand. Caroline's headset. headset. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, shit. Caroline's headset. She was one. in my top three. I, I nearly went with Simon. I nearly went with Simon. I was I like, oh, yeah, Simon. Simon. My and Simon I was, like, was Shit. my, I'm going to go with Simon. And then I totally forgot about Cross on the Hand. Wonderful moment. Oh, yeah. we, we yeah, usually yeah. agree, don't we? Sort of. Yeah, I think we always oh, Although we've never really done it this way. Mm. It's good shouting them out. I like shouting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right, okay. Uh, so it's, Caroline's uh, headset. Right, uh, Poppy, open the window. Uh, okay. Get some hers out. So Poppy's now going to tell the world. Yeah, go on. So, right, okay. okay. What she's size opening, of, opening the window. What, what size of crowd we got out there? Um, is it dwindling? 30 odd. Oh, right. yeah. Less um, than last week, though. Yeah. Go for it. Oh, God. Um, how did it go? <laughs> can't not, I can't not do it. Chuck an arm in. There was this um, woman with a. Uh, Let me start with the lads. Lads. Oh, yeah. Some lads not doing their postal work, uh, playing games. Um, they hated Caroline. Is she <laughs> Scottish? Oh, yeah, she's Scottish. And uh, she has a orthopedic thing. <laughs> so, Chair. 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 So they, 
to get her back for doing nothing, they steal it and then dismantle it and uh, get it out of the office. Uh, and she keeps on annoying them. People downstairs are wondering why they bother to turn <laughs> up every week. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, and then she uh, uh, and then she continues annoying them, and they get a headset when she's not looking, and one boy lad puts it up his anus. Um, yeah, we're cooking. <laughs> then takes it out his anus, mm -hmm. and there's a tiny <laughs> nugget of poo stuck to it. Okay. Um, they all have a sniff. <laughs> I've got that bit. Well done. <laughs> <But she's, laughs> That's stuck in yet. Yeah, she's flowing. <laughs> Smells awful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, she she they give they put it back where it was, and she comes in. And she's angry. And I think it's still on there. Is I that right? Could, could you Something remember, like that. Can you, right. you left out my favourite bit. They laughed in her face. Oh, yeah. they, they um, <laughs> <laughs> One of the lads was uh, <laughs> laughed in her face. <laughs> and pissed himself. That. Yeah, just repeated. <laughs> <laughs> And in no more detail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and then they laughed at <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, let's close that with. Hey. Oh, God. Oh, right. I think it's because I'm in a bad mood. I you can't. are in a bad yeah, mood. Be, yeah. Bad bad mood. Do you think what, it's. Why are you in a bad mood, puppy? Uh, it's contact lenses and Const stuff like that. Yeah. Contact lenses. Yeah. Don't mm. take much to put you in a bad mood. <laughs> 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 Is your other half gonna going to get it tonight? What, because I dropped the contact Cause lenses? Because you're in a bad mood. Yeah, probably, yeah. Get it. Do you mean get, get it? Get it. Sorry, I don't mean it. Like what do you mean? Have what? sex with it? No, that's what I thought you meant. I was like, fucking hell, David. I didn't think that. Are you going to have some angry sex? <laughs> what? Fucking you're going to have some bit. violent sex. That's what's going on. You're going to beat yes. each other up <laughs> and have it on. Ooh, lovely. I can't wait. I hope I'm so. I bet you can't wait for you to drop. Once a year, she drops her contact lenses and go at each other. <laughs> I'm literally went He's shot you asking that. No, I didn't mean that. You, uh, I didn't mean that, but... No. Do, do you mean sex you, tonight? Do you mean yeah. you're going <laughs> to have gonna sex with your own bloke tonight? Uh, you're going to yeah. shout at him, do you mean? Um, yeah. You're going to give him Might do a for? bit of both and just means, yeah. Yeah. confuse him. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> confuse him. Yeah. Uh, gonna, he thinks he's going to get it, but what she ends up getting is a right telling off. He's all revved up. Do you know what? You you annoy me. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> Can't wait. Oh, yeah. uh, oh well. Way to, we way to end. Yeah. <laughs> David asking about your sex life. It's fine. <laughs> Ask away. Yeah, yeah. And okay. that's all from us at Gossip Mongers. <laughs> bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye. <laughs> You're going to get, get it, it. <laughs> Yeah. Fucking hell, David. Right. No. I love it. <laughs>